All right, so have you ever been at a jam and then someone comes in and starts playing all these really cool chords and you're wondering, how do you do that? How do you play those cool chords? So that's what we're going to talk about today. And, you know, with blues, the thing is, there's so much more to blues than just a 12 bar or just playing the same old kind of one, four, five progressions. There's a lot of cool chords that you can play in blues. And there's a lot of cool pro chord progressions, you know, using ninth chords, using extended chords, using diminished chords, using augmented chords. There's all kinds of cool stuff that you can put in there that sounds really good. So one of the things is it all starts with blues doesn't have to just be 12 bar. Like you can do um, eight bar blues is really, really cool. And that would be something kind of like this. <laughs> kind of like a 12-8 kind of style, or eight bar blues based in the key of D. So let me break that down for you a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna start with a D9 chord. So this is a great chord for blues. And basically, it's just this little shape here. It's basically, it's, it's like this C shape here, and then you're gonna add in the seventh and slide that up so it's like a D there, and then you add in the ninth on top. So you got ninth right there. So you get this chord here. And a good way to play is where you bar across across the top three strings like this. And that's just a great blues chord. So you start with that and you can slide in. They're kind of infinitely slidable chords. And then another version of that, which is actually really cool, is if you play a D7 chord here, and then you go up a third, you can play this little shape here, which is actually like a, like a half diminished chord. So it's like a little substitution. But what it is, is a first inversion D9 chord. And basically all that is, is basically you're playing a D7 chord, but you're starting on the F sharp, the third of the chord. One, two, three. And then you're playing the, root, the third, the seventh, and then here's the ninth right here, and then the fifth on top. So you can play the root like that as well if you want. But that is a killer chord, and it's like a T-Bone Walker style chord. And it's uh, one of those infinitely slidable chords. So that's like a, so you can go from the D9 here over to a D9 here. And then we're gonna go to a G and I'm gonna do the same move there where I go to a G9. And then this is kind of cool. Like the way diminished chords work is diminished chords kind of live in between the cracks of the other chords or in between the other chords. So you can kind of play scales, or you can kind of go up through chord progressions and play diminished chords in between each one of those chords. So there are these kind of like, you know, by themselves, diminished chords kind of sound a little strange, a little sinister, but when you use, when they use this kind of passing chords or a chord that's kind of going somewhere, it just really adds this nice transition. So as I'm going from the four chord there, I'm going to this diminished chord, which is an A flat diminished, like this. And you could play it like this. It's just got a great sound. And you can slide that one around too. And then I'm going to back to the, the one chord. And then I'm doing this little one six two five progression which is a common thing in blues and jazz and it's basically this idea where you go one six two five like that and you can kind of create a little walking bass line like like this you know that kind of idea so you're going d b minor e minor a and what i'm doing is i'm walking up to the b minor Chromatically, and then walking up to the E, A, and when you play that last chord, it's it's, it's going to want to resolve, so you can add in a little bit of fanciness to that chord. So maybe you can add in a sharp five like this. So one, two, three, four, five, sharp it. So and it just wants to go back to the one again there, and then right at the end. I'm gonna put in a turnaround. So the turnarounds, those kind of ideas where you're going from the one to the five chord. 
And that's a cool trick you can do. Whenever you're playing the five chord, you can actually turn it into an augmented chord, which would be like this. Like Chuck Berry. Um, but the basic idea of a turnaround is it's kind of moving at the end of the progression. And here what I'm going to do is play turnaround chords where your turnarounds are usually chromatic. So you get this kind of... So it's that chromatic kind of idea. Oh, that's so I'm doing a D9, and then I'm doing a first inversion D, so D over F sharp, and then just a regular old G, and then that same diminished move in, the, in, between, in between the chords there, and then just resolving it to the five chord. So that's a really nice way to spice up a blues progression there. So eight bar blues, and you're adding these kind of cool ninth and diminished chords in, and it's a, it's a nice kind of spicy thing. And it's really fun to solo over those because you can play all your regular blues licks. And the major ones as well. kind of mix and match your major and minor blues. So it's a lot of fun. <laughs> 